one I think of the most important elements of owning a cargo bike is just reclaiming hours of lost time that you spend waiting for public transit, traffic, all of these things, and you can really unlock more time, which means you can actually do more with your kids. It's just fantastic for me to be able to put both of my kids on a cargo bike and be anywhere. We live in Hell's Kitchen, but if there's a birthday party in Tribeca, or we want to go visit friends in McCarran Park in Brooklyn, I can put both of the kids on the bike and you know be almost anywhere I want to be in 45 minutes. I have a Yuba Boda Boda. It's a short cargo bike. And both of my girls fit on the back of it, and we use it for everything. This is our primary mode of transportation in the city. This has just expanded our reach and our range. Already today, I've been up to the Union Square Farmer's Market. I have like a quart of maple syrup in one of the cargo bags of my bicycle. We started off with basic trips to school back and forth. As we got a little bit more adventurous, we started going over bridges and going to parks and traveling a little bit further. Before you knew it, it became really our go-to method of transportation. When I first started, I think there was very few cargo bikes on the market in general. I mean, 2011, uh, certainly not many electric cargo bikes. But more recently, it's just really taken off pretty dramatically. And I think it's partly in a result of what's available, better quality bikes are available on the market and they're safer, easier to use. We came back from a big trip in Amsterdam and in 2019 and, uh, and decided, yeah, we want to get an electric uh, a cargo bike. And so we went to Propel, the exclusive dealer for a couple of major brands like Urban Arrow and Reese and Mueller. It's primarily my bike, so I use it 95% uh, of the time. And I use it mostly to transport the kids around to various activities, doctor's appointments. We have biked up to the Bronx Zoo, and that was particularly useful during COVID when we weren't taking public transportation. When I had two kids that started going to school, I got a cargo bike, and it changed my life. Not only you can put the kids in it, you can put the stuff in it. Children have a lot of stuff. My name is May, and this is Casey, our son. We have a lot of fun riding along the New York City with our cargo bike. We gave up on our car just to keep the bike. This bike is amazing. It makes a lot of fun because everyone comes to ask questions and look at the bike. I've had it for 15 years now, and I got it when my kids were very little, and now they have, have basically outgrown it. I don't think people can understand how great a cargo bike is as a way to live in the city until you've, you've had one. For grocery shopping, for taking your kids to school, everything is so easy in a cargo bike. And I'm a kindergarten teacher here at East Village Community School. The best way to get around is riding on this bike I have right here in front of me. Um, for a while I had my two younger kids in the front and I had my oldest on this seat in the back. Your kids with you right in front, I can see them, I can interact with them, I can talk with them, we can talk about what's going on. My kids love this bicycle. They are talking about all the things they see, they experience it in a very different way than they would if we were in a car or if they were on the school bus. They sing, they yell, they love it, and they don't fight. You know, 20 minutes on this is the same as 20 minutes on a subway, is the same as 20 minutes on a bus, and before you know it, almost everything seems accessible via bike and a little bit easier and less cumbersome than taking public transportation. We go grocery shopping, we go to the park, we take him to his friend's place, we go everywhere. We live in downtown, we go across the street to Brooklyn, we go to New Jersey. And particularly when you have little kids, and pretty quickly you get bored of the few playgrounds near your house, the ability to take them and range farther and go to different playgrounds and different parks is so great. It gives you a chance to appreciate nature as it is in our city and especially seeing the historical buildings as you ride through. It gives you appreciation for what makes our city so special. I mean, obviously during the pandemic, people were locked up at home and they didn't have too many other choices for activities and one of the things they can do while also staying socially distanced was riding a bike. But also I think that with more people working from home, I think that this is a big trend that we're gonna see that's gonna last. So now people might not need to commute as much. So they can work from home. Maybe they can go from two cars to one. And in the city, maybe they're naturally already with no cars and they can live that more local lifestyle. When we first got it, we were really one of the few riders 
on the streets using this as a method of transportation, at least in our community. You know, slowly but steadily, we've seen that kind of catch fire that was certainly helped by the pandemic. But prior to that, there was a lot of headwinds towards putting more people on bikes in general and certainly in cargo bikes. And I've really noticed in the past year, probably due to the pandemic, an explosion in cargo bikes, especially e-cargo bikes. I'm thinking at, at some point, as these kids get bigger and start weighing more and more, uh, I'm going to want to upgrade to an e-cargo bike. Definitely see more and more, which is exciting. When I first uh, got the work cycles and would have two or three kids on the bike, it would always turn heads. And I'm really disappointed that it doesn't turn heads anymore because it really is getting more and more common to see. When we first got it, I felt like we were kind of this novelty circus act. You know, like going around, like people would kind of wave at us. Now I think it's, it's so much more common. It's nice. So we're very lucky, we live in Hell's Kitchen, so we live near a protected lane on 9th Avenue and 8th Avenue and the West Side Greenway and Central Park. And even though we're lucky to live in an area with protected bike lanes, so many of our quote unquote protected bike lanes still have vehicles parked in them. Before I used to tell Jahaya, in order for me to ride a bike, I need to carry a jousting stick across so I can keep cars away. Um, but being able to have a lot of protected bike lanes is nice. The thing that is frustrating is those bike lanes being used as parking spots or uh, law enforcement not following through the things that are blocking the bike lanes. That's frustrating. As we can see, uh, bike lanes are great when they're not blocked, when they are used as a loading zone. And we can see the parents coming now to pick up their kids from school and use the bike lane as a loading zone for the children. Then there are no bike lanes. For me, one of the biggest things that happened recently was taking that travel lane of the Brooklyn Bridge and converting it to bike lanes. For me, that's a really big signal from the city saying, hey, we're gonna prioritize bikes. But we definitely have a lot more work to do there. What you really need is the parking. Most people can't do it because they can't, I mean, they don't fit in elevators, you can't get them up and down stairs. We store it on the street, it's full of graffiti, it's full of junk, people put terrible things in it. The initiative of UNI it, it, it sounds amazing. If we're going to have it on every block, the need for secure bike parking is huge. You ready for some water? So the best part about having a basket on a bike is you can fill it with whatever you want. We have four kids, so today that means it's piled full of water bottles. One for everybody, and it's a little chilly out today, so hot chocolate for everyone as well. the location that we chose here on Flushing Avenue on this you know busy bike path one of the busiest in the state actually been so awesome to be able to see on this bike link just like all the different cargo bikes and electric bikes and just the evolution of people that are riding I think one of the things that definitely lights me up is seeing families on bikes I mean seeing the kids just loving it I do uh, four trips a day, it's uh, 16 miles every day with two kids, uh, five and seven, they're about 100 pounds. I love it, this is, this is how I get to spend time with them. You know, I like getting exercise as a regular part of my day, you know, uh, just doing whatever I normally do instead of like uh, going to the gym or something like that. Though I did three uh, boroughs with it once, it's a heavy bike. Daddy, yes, dear. that's not a heavy bike. It's a very heavy bike. I took it once on the five borough bike tour. I went up to the Bronx with two kids and back, but that was it. I couldn't do it at all. <laughs> We've actually put all four of us, my husband too, on this. <laughs> Coming home from a picnic. It was a little, I was a little embarrassed, but we did it. Yeah. I did five kids on this bike once with no electric assist. I really enjoy having my turn because I get to go on adventures with my son. He gets to accompany me. And if he's there, I still have space for some cargo. We're lucky enough to live in Jackson Heights, so we get to enjoy 34th Avenue as pedestrians and as cyclists. We take that to ride over to Grandma's and Sunnyside, but we also travel more around the city. I've gone as far as Governor's Island and met up with other cyclists and families with cargo bikes.
I'm out here in Governor's Island. It's almost Halloween, and you know I started interviewing people back in the spring, and uh, we're out here for a cargo bike meetup. People are dressed up in Halloween costumes, and it's kind of a fun way to end this video. Maddie was pregnant when I interviewed her in May, and so she's here, and uh, also some of the other folks that I got to talk to. Happy Halloween! <laughs> so I'm no longer pregnant. I now have a four-month-old baby, and um, it's just been great. We do this so that we can begin to engineer a community that values cargo biking, and we're all like-minded people, like-minded parents, and so we create these opportunities so that we can really enjoy being together. One of the things we noticed was there's a lot of people who have amazing bikes. They're all throughout New York City and in all the different boroughs. And, uh, but there wasn't really like a meetup group or a place to sort of celebrate this kind of way of getting around. It's so um, kid-friendly sort of events are, are wonderful. And the kids are all dressed up. Here on Governor's Island, they're going to the pumpkin patch. You meet new people that are uh, also driving cargo bikes, so it's sort of a little, little community. It's nice. It's fun to come out to the cargo bike meetup because there you get to meet like-minded people where they enjoy uh, sustainable transportation and being able to uh, take our kids around, uh, especially coming to this car-free park and giving them the liberty to ride on their own and to just hang out is really fun. to get three kids on a bike in under 30 seconds. Ready, go. Very cool.